William Younger, or Mr. Younger, I'm your physics teacher uh, for the semester. I apologize, but I'm having pretty major surgery uh, the Friday before classes start, and they recommended I take three to four weeks off. I tried to take three days. They said that wouldn't work, so I've managed to work it up to about a week. Hopefully I'll just miss this first week, and uh, Dr. Wright and Leo will be helping me. So anyways, I thought I'd start off by at least showing you who I am because I'm sure you're all curious what I look like and that sort of stuff so that's me right there yep no nah, not really but I do sort of look like this guy that's a lot more accurate a lot of people tell me I look like Kevin James so anyways um, that does sort of look like me what I really look like though is this and yeah I love that shirt isn't it cool it's better if I show you this one but the shirt was really cool Alright, so enough of that. Let me give you an introduction to what the Physics 100 course will be. I'm going to start off by showing you Blackboard, specifically what your Blackboard course will be like for uh, Physics 100. So when you look at Blackboard, you'll see basically, uh, even though this is last semester's for fall, of course, the, the Blackboard area will be about the same. Uh, your announcements will appear, appear here, and if they're even remotely important I go ahead and send them out as an email to your TCC email account as well but the other thing you gotta know is course information in the course information area there's an uh, area called syllabus schedules and course policies that will be where your syllabus is you'll see that your syllabus will be here and there might be multiple versions as the semester goes on this is the initial trial one but inevitably I'll find typos or something I forgot to mention or something like that and I'll make updates and like the one with the latest date so 823 2016 or 10 19 2016 is the accurate one and what I do is I keep them in case you need to see what changed over time but the last one will always be more uh, the most accurate uh, this one actually came after the drop ad date I don't really change things from there it's just the, if the schedule changed a little bit sometimes I'll update that but since their syllabus is really a contract between me and you it's not really fair for me to change course policies uh, after the drop date so that won't happen uh, if there are dates that are after the drop date are, they'll basically just represent some change in the tentative schedule not actual course policies so when you go to blackboard this is the first thing you should look for is find your syllabus download it I might even give you some questions to ask about it uh, to make sure you've understood the syllabus uh, you can click over here this will actually be your grades also, uh, there will be a section, you won't see this one at all, uh, but there will be a section here called practice tests. Again, notice we're on Blackboard. So this will be where your practice test is. Unlike most uh, physics instructors at the college and university level, I actually do make practice tests for my students. Uh, it's not really sort of the university or college mindset to do that, but I find it helpful and it's sort of like in lieu of homework or giving them a lot more homework. Their students are really willing to do multiple practice tests. The practice test will actually have one for each test that we take throughout the semester. It'll be about 10 questions and you'll have like seven minutes so you get a real feel for how much time you have. And each time you take it, you'll actually get a set, different set of 10 questions. So the more times you take it, the more problems that are likely to be on the test that you actually see. And basically I usually try to make 90% of all the test question, or test points come from the practice test. So maybe 10% might come from things other than the practice test. So if you took enough of these, in principle, you should get 90% of the points having been seen before. If we have online tests, and we will, they'll be in this area where it says online tests. And no, I didn't give an online final exam. Sometimes I do that just to let students get their grade immediately. But this will be where your online tests are. If you want PowerPoints for the course, they're in here. You can download those in the clicker questions. Uh, as the semester first starts, this may or may not be available. Uh, if it is available, it will be empty because basically about a week or two before the finals uh, exam, I'll actually post all your old tests up here so you can use them to prepare for your final exam with. And then finally, there's this really cool area, science web links, and in that you'll see just a lot of interesting things about science and uh, funny stuff. Uh, all these are basically just fun stuff. If you want to learn about astronomy, here's some actual courses, one on YouTube, two from Ohio State University, uh, Ask an Astronomer, all sorts of really cool areas where you can look at stuff and uh, just sort of get into the fun of science. So enough about Blackboard. Now I'm going to discuss our actual course syllabus.
So here's the course syllabus. I'm going to try to make it as big as I can and still fit in this window here. So you see Physics 100 N07B Spring 2017. My name's William Younger. My email address is wyounger at tcc.edu. My office is JC24 and my phone number is right here, 822-7691. Really should only use that if you're like going to miss class or a test or something because uh, basically I never answer them. I'm always out doing stuff. Anyways, this is a tentative schedule of uh, how the course is supposed to go and of course January 9th is the first day of classes. That's a Monday. Our class meets on Monday and Wednesday so this would be the 9th. This would be the 11th. Excuse me. Uh, you can see what chapters we're going to cover. The introduction is more or less what I'm doing right here. As you progress, we'll go through all these chapters. Uh, I try to have a test every two chapters. As you can tell, the first chapter is sort of an intro, so the first test will actually include three chapters, but all the other ones will be two chapters each. Some will be online, as you can see here. Some will be face-to-face. -face. I'll probably have more online than, that, than I'm showing here. The final exam, notice, is right here. <coughs> that date is actually wrong. It's not 511. Oh, hopefully I've got the right one. Yes. The final exam should actually occur on May 8th uh, at 5 p.m. You should prepare to stay a little late then. We won't have lab that night, but you should be prepared for the final. When you go to email me, I need you to do a couple things. First, I need you to make sure you, t you email me from your TCC account. Second, I need you to have PHY 100 lecture as the first thing in the subject line of your e email. And then finally, I want to make sure you always include your name in the email. Uh, you should check your emails every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It might even be smart, like if we have a test on Monday, you might even want to check it Saturday and Sunday in case I give you some extra little pointers or something over the weekend. The classroom will be JC12, and this is how our scoring works. Uh, it's a weighted average, but basically we're planning on having three face-to-face -face tests. I'll drop the lowest of that. I'll have three online tests. I'll drop the lowest of that as well. The three face-to-face -face will count as 35% of your course grade. Uh, well, two of them since I'm dropping one. And the two of the three online tests will count as 15% of your course grade. You'll have reading quizzes that are actually posted on uh, my lab and mastering, and those reading quizzes will count for 10% of your course grade, but I do drop the two lowest. Your mastering physics homework will be taken out of 800 points, so you don't have to focus too much on trying to get a perfect score every time, but you just got to realize that you have to have uh, some good fraction of 800 to get a decent grade. So if you get 90% of 800 points, you'll have a 90 for your course grade. That's worth 10%. Final exams worth 10%. That's also face to face. And then your lab will actually count as 20% of the course grade. Generally, my labs, as well as Dr. Wright's, count 50% attendance, 50% lab final. So you'll see from your lab instructor how that plays out. But basically, if you attend every day, you're going to get a full 50 points. And if you got an 80, say, on your lab final, then basically you'd end up averaging 80 plus 100 divided by 2. That gives you a 90. Uh, my grade system is basically a 10-point scale with a little bit of moderate um, uh, modification. Uh, 89.5 and higher is an A. 79.5 above is a B. 68.5 as opposed to 69.5 is a C. 58.5 is a D. And of course below that is an F. There are 14 labs. You must attend nine labs to pass the course. There's nothing I can do for you if you miss more labs than that, and we don't give makeup labs. <laughs> you may miss any two labs with no attendance penalty. The third missed lab is 10% attendance pen penalty, 10% uh, for a, f a fourth, 10% for a third, so on and so forth. You also uh, have to make sure you sign out every lab. That's how I count your attendance, and I won't be able to necessarily recall whether you were there the previous week. So you got to make sure you always remember to sign out unless I explicitly tell you otherwise. Uh, by the way, even though you are allowed to miss one lab, every lab final has a question for every lab we've done, and you're only allowed to omit one question. So really, missing more than one lab is likely to be very detrimental to your lab grade because that 50% of it is going to be hurting. The last day to withdraw is March 24th without academic penalty. If you want your money back or some part of it, you got to do it by January 25th. You really shouldn't have any need to drop my course unless something catastrophic happens and you have to miss a ton of days. 
Uh, face-to-face tests will usually be multiple choice and you must have a Scantron sheet. Uh, makeup tests are not permitted. If you miss a test, that will be your drop. You can take a test in advance, but you gotta let me know well in advance and I'll see what I can do. Uh, the final exam has a very specific date, uh, 5.45 p.m. Monday, uh, May 8th. If there's something comes up where you aren't going to be able to make that, if you just let me know well in advance, I can probably figure out some way to help you, but generally just plan on being ready for that day. There is a chance to earn extra credit. credit. Students may replace one lab with a trip to Bush Gardens and can complete an experimental package that Dr. Wright has, or you may receive two points on your lab final exam grade if you didn't skip any labs. Additionally, uh, students may read a suggested book from the book report list down below, and those points will go on your lecture final exam. So ask your instructor for details on those book reports. Uh, if you tell me what you like, I can give you ideas of what books would be best for you and so on and so forth. Uh, Mastering Physics is our homework site, and you do have to have that. That's not... Uh, that's definitely mandatory. Here's the website www.pearsonmylabandmastering.com slash North America slash. Uh, when you go there you'll need to register, make an account, username and password, record that somewhere because I won't be able to recover those for you necessarily. And then you also have to have this course code so that uh, the website will know what course you go in. So make sure you record this. Do not get one from another instructor or from a student taking another instructor because that will be the wrong class. The chapter quizzes, uh, basically the way they work is each time we finish a chapter, you say you finish it on a Monday, you come to school Wednesday, you can ask questions about that chapter, and then you come back to school the following Monday, and your quiz should have been taken by then. So you always have to have your quiz finished by uh, the second day after you finish a test. Mastering, fo homework, uh, mastering physics homework assignments are actually due on the day that they're tested. So for instance, uh, one homework might be for test one, another for test or excuse me, for chapter one, another for chapter two, and another for chapter three. Since our first test covers chapters one, two, and three, the day that our first test occurs, which is 5.45 p.m. on February 8th, chapters one, two, and three will be due by 5.45 on that day. Unlike previous semesters, I will not give extensions, so make sure you don't do that. Uh, here's some of the books that are uh, approved. This is also an explanation of how you actually have to write the uh, report and basically they're in order of sort of decreasing number of points. The ones at the top of the list are worth more points, the ones at the bottom of the list are worth less, and the reason why they're worth more points is either they're very long or difficult to read. For instance, The Science of Discworld, I recommend you actually listen to that on Audible or some other venue because reading it would be very, very tedious for you guys. Second reading or third reading might be good reading, but uh, the first time you should definitely just listen to it. Plus, they got really funny British actors doing the parts. So if you tell me what your interest is, I can pick out one of these books for you, and I also have other books that I'm open to doing. So if you think of something else that you might want to read, please let me know. Well, that about covers what this uh, course is supposed to be about. I've covered the syllabus. I've covered the blackboard. And again, I apologize for not being there for you guys. Uh, hopefully, like I said, I'll just miss a week, and I will see you on the 16th. Uh, have a